everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. It is really bright in my room right now. It's uh, coming at me. Also, my allergies are acting up, so I apologize if I sound very nasally or my voice is a little bit raspy. It's been super windy, so it's just like pushing everything off of the trees and it's just getting in my lungs and I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. Um, so yeah, so I am uh, drugged up and uh, ready to go. So I'm here with another come shopping video. I have already done Zara and I've already done Abercrombie and Fitch and now I'm on to Topshop. My Topshop in Canada or at least in my city or the surrounding cities that I'm in, Topshop is in Hudson's Bay Company which is like Canada's department store. It's a little bit small so majority of the Topshop like clothes and stuff like that that at least is in my city is mostly just jeans and je top shop jeans are amazing if you don't already own or have tried their jamie jeans perfect perfect jeans i purchased the black skinny jeans last year and they're amazing they're so so good however be careful with the petite regular and long because i bought petite and i really didn't need to because they shrunk so they're a little short, so I'd like to wear them more in the summer than the winter. But anyway, I'm getting off track. So the majority of things that I tried on were kind of out of my comfort zone. I was more like pulling things off of the shelves that were different and that I wouldn't necessarily buy, but I wanted to try on to see how that fit on my body and if I liked it sort of thing. So, so the first thing that I saw was this graphic tee of Motley Crue. My boyfriend and his friends listen to a lot of Motley Crue. More just like the one song of Kiss kickstart my heart. I shouldn't say they listen to a lot of it. I don't even know if they know other Motley Crue songs. Um, but anyway, so I saw this shirt and I thought it was pretty good. So I tried it on and everything. It's massive. I know it's like the oversized graphic tee look is in right now. And for me, as you can tell, I, I like the fitted shirt. So I tried it on just to see what I would look like and I feel like I was wearing my dad's clothes and I'm like 10. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool. I love that like edgy skater vibe. I tried going, I got it, I paired it with a pair of ripped mom jeans. That They looked really nice. I don't really do ripped jeans at all. I don't even own a pair. It was a different style for me. Um, I liked it in some ways that I like tucked the shirt and like rolled the jeans, but in other ways I knew I wouldn't really wear it outside of the change rooms, so I didn't pick any of it up. The top was $49 or $48. Um, like I said, I got it in, this is a medium. So if you're, I'm 5'2 and quite like petite, so the medium I think is a good oversized fit if you wanted it like that. I don't know what the small is like. They didn't have any in stock. Um, and then the jeans, I actually don't know any of these prices. I don't know what was wrong with this top shop that I went to. A, they didn't have any prices. B, the change room was like on the other side of the thing. There was like top shop sections along the way. Like it wasn't even like in the aisle. It was like in different sections like Adidas would have like top shop jean section and like the pajamas had like top shop crop top section. So I'm like, wait, do I have to go around the whole store just looking for top shop stuff? I was really confused what was going on, but I kind of think things were just kind of all over the place. So, but anyway, I'm going to go online and look it all up and I'll leave the prices and sizes and all that stuff down below in the description box so you can go check it out. I thought these jeans were nice. I'm not a huge fan of the rips, um, but they did fit really well. I'm usually, I think I'm a size two. So the next thing that I tried on was this sweater dress. It was a long, like long sleeve v-neck dress with buttons down the front. The buttons did not come off or anything like that. I don't have a lot going on here so it was holding up nothing and uh, so my bra kept showing and it kept slipping so it was very light like a lightweight material. It had some kind of it didn't have like shoulder pads but it kind of stuck out the fabric here just on the seam and it had just had like loose fabric sticking out so I wasn't a huge fan of that. It kind of looked like it was just on the curtain for a long time or it was like wet and it dried like that if that makes any sense. I also wasn't a huge fan of the wrist. It was almost like, like yes it was a lightweight material but the wrist itself had like a thicker seam or whatever and it was, it just looked messy. It looked like it was gonna shrivel up and break at any second. It was kind of see-through. The idea itself was really really nice. I just wasn't a huge fan of that so watch out if you see it online and you're kind of interested in that. Um, sorry, that was probably like the worst review I've ever given to a dress or like an article of clothing. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm okay, then I tried on this other dress. I saw it on the rack and I was like, wow, this is kind of 
like it's very pretty and at first I was like it kind of looks like a very old-fashioned like Little House on the Prairie kind of dress and I didn't know if like that was really my style or I could pull it off. I was thinking like okay I could match it with like a belt, I could do that sort of stuff with it but the high neck really threw me off. I love the open back detail, I think that was beautiful. Buckled up at the top here and zipped up by the skirt and I thought that was really nice. I just couldn't get it away from the high neck and the cutoff rests and all that stuff and plus like I felt like something needed to be in the middle there like a belt or that sort of stuff. I thought it was nice. I was like oh I'm going to a wedding in a couple weeks maybe that will look nice for like the brunch party and stuff like that but I'm like mm, no I don't think so. I think I can find something a little bit better. It's like dressy and casual at the same time but a little more casual. I didn't end up picking it up but I think if like you wear that kind of style a lot it would look really nice with like white sneakers or a jean jacket or a leather jacket like that sort of thing. I think it would look really pretty. Speaking of, jean of uh, leather jacket, I tried on a leather jacket thinking it would be really cool. I cannot pull off leather jackets. I have one here and I have a really hard time wearing it. It's just not my style and I want it to be my style so badly because every time I see someone in a leather jacket, I'm like, holy smokes, you look so cool. And then I wear one, I'm just like, mm, I do not look good. <laughs> so I don't know if that's just like my, my mental state I can't get out of, but I can't do it. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, it's very pretty. It's great high quality. It's kind of the ones that like zip just off center. There's lots of pockets. Um, the wrists have a zipper so it's it's more breathable and there's more wrist room. I don't know. <laughs> and all that stuff. So I thought it was really cool and a good idea. So if you're looking for a leather jacket, I highly recommend that one. This was in a size 2, um, so it's pretty small and all that stuff. But I like there's lots of room. I could move my shoulders and, and twist and stuff like that and it was fine. But yeah, I uh, just, it didn't work for me, so yeah, I don't know, I think I really need to figure out some leather jackets or just like Pinterest leather jackets and see how I can work that into my style now. But yeah, that's uh, just a short little trip. There wasn't, there honestly just wasn't a huge amount of stuff. It was mostly jeans. I'm a sucker for jeans. I feel like I own a ton of jeans. I like recycle through like two jeans like on rotation, but I buy them because I'm like, oh, I'll wear this, oh, I'll wear this, but I never wear them. So I'm like, I need to stay away from jeans. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video or took anything away from it from like Topshop and stuff like that. Again, like I said earlier in the video they have great basics so if you can find basics highly recommend stocking up on them they have good deals sometimes there's like two for eighteen dollars especially in like their good crop tops or like their shirts like this it's like the two for twenty two even like the men's shirts are really good too so if you want to like stock up on like the smaller sizes of their shirts it's the same price I think of like two for twenty two but they're good basics they have pockets and stuff like that so I don't know if you'd like want to style that with like biker shorts or just your jeans like leaving them long sort of thing I think that's a good style or even just sleeping in them I think they're really good high quality and comfortable tops so yeah that's one thing I have to that's a good thing I have to say about Topshop is their jeans are really nice and so are their basics so yeah like I said earlier all of the links and sizes and prices will be in the description box below so you can go check it out and all that stuff. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Pinterest, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I got some exciting content coming up, so stay tuned, subscribe, I'll see you all in my next video. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you later.